Good morning. Good morning. My name is Milena. You're watching The Playful Knitter, Vlogmas 2022. Today is December 12th. Welcome and thank you so much for choosing to spend some of your precious time with me. I do appreciate it so very, very much. I'm sitting here with my tea of the day. It is, and now I need my piece of paper. It is a Ceylon orange pico. Is that the way you pronounce it? So the wonderful pamphlet says, this tea has a soft, rounded, and very aromatic bouquet. Ceylon OP does not become bitter and therefore recommend. And we therefore recommend that you put the leaves directly in the teapot. I have not done that because I don't like that. Um, I've just done what I always do. <laughs> Maybe I should expand my views and try putting in the leaves in my water. I don't, I would get them in my mouth. I wouldn't like that. I would have to use a sieve. Okay, procrastinating. Getting back to the subject. <laughs> I have tried it. It is nice. It is not my favorite, but it is very drinkable. And I think it would be good like for if I had like a sandwich or something with it. So nice tea. And I will definitely finish my cup. I am tired today, you guys. Ella was not feeling well last night. She had a headache and a tummy ache and was just, I think she was maybe like a little overwhelmed with things going on this weekend so she is upstairs sleeping in because mama and daddy decided that it was better for her to take a day home and not truly get sick so that is what her and I are doing today we're having a lazy day she was not feeling well she is better this morning I did go wake her up and talk to her and see how she was doing but still we went to bed way later than we usually do, and yeah, I am poofy-eyed and tired today. So I got all cozy in my comfy dress. I didn't do nothing to my hair. I didn't put on makeup or anything. And I put on one of my ranunculus sweaters. I have knitted this multiple times, both for myself, for my mom, my sister. Mm. Oh, no, that wasn't the one I made for Ella. I have done the Love Note sweater by Tin Can Knits uh, multiple times as well. <laughs> they're kind of, to me, they're a little bit the same because they have this wonderful um, structure up here on the, on the body or on the, whatever, up here. <laughs> and then they're just plain stockinette on the sleeves and down here. And I really like the fact that you can just, you can knit them out of all kinds of yarns. This is a mix of a fingering weight and two lace weights. I will also put in the description box um, which yarns I have used. Yeah, I'm just sitting here having a quiet day, knitting on my love note. Love note. <laughs> jelly roll. <laughs> my jelly roll blanket. I am way behind. I just started day five, but that's okay. It'll be done when it is done. I am up to date on my socks. And as you may have seen yesterday, I cast on more socks. I did not knit on them as much as I had thought I would, but that was because mama was needed. So I gave Ella some TLC instead, which is way more important. Yeah. So I don't really have many plans today, but my sister did ask, um, well, she didn't ask actually, but she made a wish for warm socks because it is very cold at her job. She is a teacher. And since I do have quite the stash of socks, I'm going to go see what I have in the colors that she likes. So I'll take you along for that. We'll go check out the stash, see what I can let go of. <laughs> I'm kind of selfish with my socks and the colors. I really enjoy them so very much. But of course, 
We cannot have her walking around with cold feet, so I will find a pair of socks for her. I mean, I could just knit a pair, but if I find one of the ones that I already have knitted that are still nice, it's better to gift them to her and so she can enjoy them and have warm feet so she doesn't have to wait. Because it does, it doesn't take me long to knit a pair of socks, but yeah, you know. Boy, am I rambling this morning. I am tired. So that's what we're going to do and then just knit away and see what happens. <laughs> oh boy, you guys are going to have to put up with quite a bit today. Can you feel it? <laughs> okay, I will let you go and talk to you later. I hope that you have a wonderful Monday with lots of knitting, lots of peace and quiet. I'm sitting here watching the Suburban Stitcher Vlogmas. I've been following along the last couple of years. I really enjoy Diane's Vlogmas. She's very good. If you haven't seen her, by all means, jump on over. But what I really wanted to say about it is that I am so inspired by the pattern that she has had made up for her um, advent calendar this year. It is a shawl. It's called What Tomorrow Brings. I will link the pattern down below. But it's like, so you knit a section every day and it's a like structured knitting kind of like this for one day and then a, um, a garter stitch mm, block and then a new block with a pattern and then garter stitch. I'm thinking I want to maybe do that with one of my calendars that I haven't decided what to do with yet. So maybe the one from Ladybug Yarns or the one from a homespun house, I'm not... I haven't decided on that yet, but I just, every time I see it, I get more and more inspired and I just, I think I have to do it. I don't know if I'm going to cast on before or after Christmas, but I'm definitely, I want to do that. And then I've seen on other Vlogmases, quite a few actually, it has taken quite the run around the knitting world, the anthology throw by Helen Stewart, her, um, one of her Christmas patterns this year. It's very, very beautiful. It's like a round blanket and I like that. It's fun. If you want to see more about it, um, among others, Jana from, uh, the Finnish knitting stories. That was hard to say the Finnish knitting stories. She's doing one. Yeah and K from a Lonely Sock Lady and, and other knitters, but just to mention a few. That was quite a few podcasts. I will put their link down below in case you want to go watch. I kind of needed to see what was going on with the colors since now I think I might have figured out what I want to do with my yarn. So I wanted to see the colors together to see what would fit what pattern best. So let me show you. These are the first 12 days from Ladybug Yarns, the healer calendar inspired by Outlander. These colors are just absolutely gorgeous. Day one through 12. And this is my a homespun house. To me, they're still gorgeous, but they're not as cohesive as the ones from Ladybug Yarns. Day one, day 12. Really, really, really gorgeous yarns. There's some beautiful colors in here, like this one, that one. I think that might be my favorite so far. I really like the speckles on here. So I'm thinking that maybe for the shawl, the What Tomorrow Brings shawl, maybe Maybe this calendar and then do the anthology throw with this one. 
I don't know. Just to me, maybe these colors are like more wearable together. Maybe. I will continue thinking about it. But it was fun to see the colors together like this. Seeing as we are halfway to Christmas. How crazy is that, you guys? Time truly does fly. And while it is flying, let me show you the socks of the day. These socks are really absolutely one of the favorite patterns I've ever knitted. It was part of the Handmade Sock Society. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Handmade Sock Society by Helen Stewart, number four. They're called the Picnic Blanket Socks. And look at these little ruffles up here. They remind me so much of the kind of socks that I wore in the 90s. Maybe that's why I love them. <laughs> Remember, we wore these socks that could like fall down and then we wore Birkenstocks. Just like the kids are doing again nowadays. Now that's fun. The yarn is from the uh, company Burke and Berg. They don't dye anymore together. They dye from each their own company. One is Christina Bieck, who also did the um, Beverly Hills 90210 calendar that I have this year. And the other one I've shown colors from before is Moonette Streck, Nina. So this was a part of a share a pair set that they did. Mm. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but earlier this year, they were so kind to dye up some share pair uh, sets because I had seen them on um, podcasts in the States and I was like, I want to do share pair. There's no, nobody doing share pairs and they did share pair and it was so much fun. But the Picnic Blanket Socks by Helen Stewart and I will link the pattern down below. So many socks. <laughs> I have not counted. I will when I clean them up and I will put a number on the screen. Or maybe, do you guys want to guess how many pairs of socks are here? Yeah, I think I will wait until tomorrow to tell you the number. And if you want to, put a comment down below and guess how many socks are here in total. These are not all the socks that I have knit. There are some I have gifted. Some are for the hubby, some are for Ella, and some are for Augusta. But these are all my socks. And the mission today is to find some pairs that my sister might like so she won't have cold feet when she goes to work. This box over here is my stripy sock box. This is all yarn from Lona, a lonely sock lady, and I have a couple of new pairs to put in there. These ones right here. This is her classic Halloween colorway, and these are from the collaboration that we did. And these are called popcorn. 
All right. I will count socks, clean up, and put them back in my closet, store it all nicely, and send, send pictures of some of the green pears to my sister and see if she would like one of those. All right. But if you want to guess how many pears are here, including the pair that I'm wearing today, they count as well. Put a comment down below and I'll tell you the number tomorrow.